everybody and welcome. Today we're going to talk about arguments in a relationship, how we get around them, why they tend to happen the way they do, and what we can do differently. Not just let's talk or let's communicate or let's come to a negotiation to prevent arguments, but what is it that we're actually getting caught up in? What is the loop? What is the meaning of the loop? And how can we find a deeper level of self-awareness and connection and security to break the cycle? First, let's run the show real. <laughs> Every relationship has its conflict. Some people in conflict stay really mellow and quiet. Other people in conflict get very angry. They yell, they scream. You may have seen my uh, YouTube video where I talked about the Reddit post where a woman, one woman wrote, when I yell at my boyfriend, it just means I love him. How do I get him to understand that? So there's definitely different philosophies out there based upon where we grew up, how we were treated and what, how we attached as children. I'm reading this book called Hold Me Tight by Sue Johnson. It's about emotionally focused therapy. And I think she says this really the most clear way that I've ever experienced it before, even though I've brought it in with some of my clients already. And we get into what she calls these demon dialogues. And the first thing we do is find the bad guy. We find mutual blame. Well, you did this. Well, you did that. Whose fault it is? it all your fault? If this hadn't happened, then that wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't done X, why wouldn't it be happening? Have you ever blamed somebody for something that they did and felt like they were the reason why you felt the way you did? That's why it's so important to really understand what's going on underneath. Really what's happening as we separate, as we start blaming the other person is we're blocking our ability to re-engage. We're blocking our ability to find safety. In our relationships, we need to be safely and securely attached, just like children do. It's true that adults need attachment just as much as children. And we want to find that safety and security in our own partner. The next phase that couples tend to enter into is the demand and withdraw or criticize, defend. This is where we really deeply start protesting against this withdrawal or this perceived lack of attachment to our partner. We begin to protect ourselves, hold on to the other person. This is, imagine instead now that you can realize you're caught up in this pattern. Pause and say, hey, we're getting in the same argument pattern again. Let's take five minutes. Let's take a break. Or find ways to hear what the other person is saying, where they feel like they may be losing or disconnecting from the relationship. Because we're not feeling safe or protected to. Perhaps we're shutting down and avoiding engagement to protect ourselves. Either way, imagine instead that you can find reconnection and safety. The next challenge we run into is when people have been in conflict for a long time, they've both withdrawn. Both people feel hopeless. Both people have given up in some manner on the relationship. They don't know how to reconnect again. And this is one of the scariest places for relationships to be because unless something does change and that attachment is brought back, it can very well mean the end of a relationship. But the beautiful thing is it doesn't have to. Even one person working on the relationship can create a positive change. So imagine now instead that you take the next steps, start moving forward in the relationship to create more connection with your partner, knowing full well that there may have been a level of safety and trust broken and your partner may not respond right away. It may take a while because we're rebuilding slowly, but solidly reassuring your partner that you're gonna be there. And ideally, both of you would work on it, right? So listen, I invite you to listen. 
where are these demon dialogues as she calls them? Where are these miscommunications around attachment happening in the relationship? Where you start pushing each other away to keep yourself safe. But just remember, you are loved, you are loving, and you are lovable. I'd like to hear comments below. What did you learn from this video? How are you gonna shift how you interact with your partner?